In the heart of the savannah lies the Adamawa region in Cameroon, once famous for its countless herds of cows. But today, its cattle are sought after by gangs from neighboring Central African Republic. Thousands of animals are stolen here, then sold, to fund armed gangs across the border. <laughs> to protect his herd from thieves, Nana had to flee his village on the border. Looking after the few dozen cattle he has left, he's always on the alert now. To make matters worse, Nana is finding it increasingly difficult to feed his cattle here and has to walk further and further to do so. When we were in Baki, we had enough grass to feed our cattle. Here there isn't enough. The animals are clustered in a small area and we feed them with maize. There isn't enough hay here to feed the animals. Millions of cattle farmers have been forced to abandon their villages and herds in search of security in Gaoundéré, the region's capital. That's the case of Abba and his wife. They're mourning the brutal murder of their son Amidou as he was trying to protect their livestock. The 27-year-old cowherd was abducted in front of his parents six months ago. His captors then tortured and killed him. Amidou's bullet-riddled body was found several days later. When he was kidnapped, he was forced to walk next to them. They beat him up all along the way, and he ended up being covered in blood. They crossed three rivers, and I'm sure he was exhausted and that he could no longer move. So after beating him yet again, they shot him three times. You cannot imagine our pain. We wish they would have killed us instead. In two years, over 70 men have been killed here. Stealing cattle is no longer enough for the criminal gangs. They also take hostages and demand huge ransoms. The cattle breeders live in continuous fear. They meet regularly to discuss the constant kidnappings. And Madou keeps a record of all the people who have been abducted. We registered 85 kidnappings. 15 people were freed after a military operation. 50 others were released after a ransom was paid. A total of 20 people were killed by the kidnappers and about 598 million CFA francs were paid as ransom to the kidnappers in the Embere division. These statistics only cover the period between 2016 and 2018. Over the past two years, about 300 people are believed to have been abducted in the Adamawa region. An estimated 3 million euros has so far been given to the criminals as ransom, a precious booty for Central African warlords and their Cameroonian accomplices. On the ground, we found out that those who come to kidnap Cameroonians are not ordinary citizens. It's much more Central African rebels who are not very far from here. They are the ones who come down here to kidnap people and ask for money. Our government has to urgently devise a way to tackle this phenomenon. Today, the Mbere division is threatened. In fact, the entire Adamawa region. Tomorrow, it will be Yaoundé, and it will be serious. Faced with this emergency, Cameroon's government has strengthened its military and have doubled the number of operations carried out by the Rapid Intervention Battalion, an elite unit of the army. During such operations in the grasslands, hostage takers are often found hiding in the bushes. The soldiers spot two suspicious men about 300 meters away. A few minutes later, they arrest them. It appears to be a false alarm. The men seem to be harmless cattle breeders, but they'll still undergo a routine interrogation. Hunting down these kidnappers, who are often former highway robbers, is a daily challenge for the military. 
All these criminals fall under the same category, what we call Zargina, meaning kidnappers, road bandits, and highway robbers. It's pretty much the same thing. When highway robbery was no longer lucrative for them, they switched to hostage taking. The government of Cameroon recently deployed some 130 more soldiers to the Adamawa region, an attempt to bring the juicy hostage-taking business to an end.